Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and today's original balloon design is this elegant 350 Swan. Although it is possible to make it much simpler for line work, <laughs> I prefer the deluxe version, which perfects the design with the addition of the Swan's beak and other facial features. Make sure to stick around after this lesson for a preview of my friend David's amazing designs on his channel. You won't want to miss that. But for now, let's make this awesome swan. So we're going to start off, we've got two 350s blown up to about four fingers a tail. And one white 260. Maybe also four fingers, maybe five, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to stick these over here. And we're going to begin with our first 350. We start at the tail with a flat 350 pinch twist, just like this. Okay, now we're going to create a pedal twist, but when we create it, it needs to be a little bit soft. So we'll squeeze that. Not too big. Perfect, and now we're going to tie it, just like that. And this may come undone. It helps if you have an extra knot, so that doesn't happen. So stick it in there, and you should have this. All right, now I've changed the uh, dimensions of this just a little bit. We're going to make a cylinder twist at 12 fingers, measure just like that. And you're going to come back matching the cylinder twist. Tie it into that tail carefully. You're going to have some extra, and that's step one. We take our second 350, and we're going to tie it into the tail cluster here. Done that, it's time to remove our excess. Pop that off, sorry about the uh, noise there. And just tie it in. I think my cameraman just jumped over there. Okay? Now, you're going to match up. You want to create another one of these cylinder twists, only this time it's going to be a little bit bigger at 14 fingers. I don't know why this is twisting around. 4, 8, 12, add 2, there's the 14. You push it right through, just like a bird body, standard. You can do it with a 260 it out a little bit, and this will make this one's neck. Make sure you tie it up real good there. Okay, so we're going to be making two pinch twists, and these will be kind of chubby because these will be stabilization pinch twists, as you can note right here on the front. And I actually did the same kind of cluster for something uh, giraffe hat that I did. You can check out that tutorial. I'll actually put it in the description. I'll give you a link. So back to this. Two pinch twists, chubby, and make sure that there's enough air so that you can actually twist them woo, without a pop. Okay, second pinch twist. Again, enough air. Make sure it's even. And there we go. And believe it or not, we are going to be doing a third. Uh, this is a little bit difficult, but it will leave us with a nice malleable neck. Plenty of space. Make a bubble. And this time you're going to pinch it, but when you're done pinching, you're going to come through with the rest of it, the neck, and you're really going to make a real tight triple pinch right there. So here's the third one. Okay, you can see it's three in a row. This is the middle one. And you're going to tie it around, go through the back, make sure it's nice and secure. And you want to end up with the neck. Here's the bottom, our 14 finger one. Sorry, <laughs> I know I'm moving it all over the place. Thank you for working with me. And uh, this will be the neck. It'll go back a bit, but we have to add our 260 first. So this is what it looks like from the front, our three pinch twists. Take it, tie it into this tail cluster here. Now this is a little bit difficult to do without popping, so after, here's what we're going to do. Go around the perimeter of the tail with your 260, squeeze a little air out, make sure it's soft. Okay, tie it right in there. Cool. That way you have a little bit of an option to shape the tail. Okay, and you're going to come down to the bottom. You need to create two stabilization pinch twists. Now, this is a little difficult. This is the poppy part. So make sure you have enough air. Very gently. Create your first pinch twist. First pinch twist. A little bit of a tongue twister there. And then create the second one. Uh, excuse the uh, <laughs> how I'm going to put this, but you want to imagine creating two little butt cheeks back here. All right. You got your two pinch twists. You're going to put one on either side stabilize the tail. And the great part is, when you come up with your 260, bring it on top of the tail, create the back. This is actually going to uh, 
hold it down from the top. So with pressure from both sides, this tail is perfect for positioning. All right, make sure it's even, one on each side, and kind of tuck it into the sides there too. Okay. Now I made this a little bit too big, but it's still workable, so that's okay. All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna create the back. If you've ever seen a swan, they have an arched back, it arches at the back, but then slopes down, almost like a roller coaster dip. So make a little bit of a back there, and you're gonna sink your 260 down in, and then tie it into this cluster right here. So watch this. Get a nice back, and ooh, you squeeze a little air out, come around the front, tie that in, and come out the top in front of the neck. Why is that? because after you've shaped the back just like this, you're gonna create one more pinch twist and this creates a four pinch twist cluster. Very good for long neck animals like swans and check out my giraffe tutorial as well because that has the same exact thing. It works great and I invented it so I'm proud of it. Make a small pinch twist right in the front. Whatever you gotta do to this part, pop it, whatever. Because that's all extra. Make a pinch twist tie it into that cluster and position your neck so that it's being pushed back by this pinch twist. Now it's just time to shape that neck and all that will be left are the details. So it's difficult to, to twist and shape a 350 but I found a little bit of a trick. You pinch it and pull it and just create the neck shape like that. To add to the, it's not too difficult, you just grab a scrap of orange 160 and I'd say maybe about four finger beak. It's a little difficult to get perfect because it's not a ton of detail on this, but it's extra than it was. Okay, once we've done that, you want to make sure there's a knot here on the end of the head. And in fact, you can even shape the head to be a little bit more bulbous compared to the neck just by kind of pushing the hair into one spot. Make sure you get a real good knot on there. Okay, perfect. Now, take your beak. You got your four fingers there. You're going to make two pinch twists. You want to make them kind of large so that they're nice and stable and tight too. So pinch that off. Got our next one right here. Pinch that off. Make sure they're flat too. All right. Get rid of that extra. And now, Simply tie that beak right on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then position it so that it looks appropriate. Huh. What are you <laughs> As opposed to what? Inappropriate? Okay, so that's pretty much it. But of course you have to draw on the eyes. Uh, I looked at a picture of a swan, and I do that a lot when I'm creating animals, but I advise, really, if you're going to create this, look at a swan first, and you'll it'll all make sense, and then just draw the eyes on from there. As promised, here is an awesome preview of my friend David's wonderful channel. He has ten times the subscribers I do, and you can see why. He's got amazing stuff. Huge hearts made out of Linkaloons. He's got simple stuff too, and what he's best known for, his actual decorations. He teaches you how to make columns. He teaches you how to make all sorts of wonderful, look at that balloon arch right there. And if you go all the way to the top, uh, you'll see some of the wonderful characters he's created. And look at that wonderful helicopter. Also, Super Mario, Tigger, Slimer from the Ghostbusters. This guy's got everything. Look at this Hulk. This guy's incredible. I look up to him. I really hope you check out his channel, Decoraciones David. Please subscribe and please like his videos. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and I hope you join me on the next one.